traders. Welcome back to Simply Forex. Today is Thursday, the 4th of January, in case you don't know what day of the week it is. Um, and we are going to do the following. We're going to look back at yesterday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well. And it's a busy news day, guys. All right. So tread carefully. Um, trades from yesterday. We were looking to sell New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. And I took two trades yesterday. This was the first one. So we were looking to sell New Zealand Canadian dollar. Why? Well, we was in this range between these two levels. Yeah, price has just been, you know, ranging between these two levels. All right. And then if we look a little bit closer at market structure, yeah, you can see that we had a, you know, a low form here. This is a higher low from here. All right. And we didn't get higher highs. This level we know has been good resistance. And then price broke down. With this candle here, yeah, it broke all of these lows. Therefore, we were getting lower lows. We were in sort of a mini downtrend as part of this range. And the idea was just to take it about down to the bottom of the range. Yeah, Makes sense. Very logical. That's how we roll. We are the logical channel. Um, and that's what we were looking to do, guys, all right, to sell it down to there. Um, if we drop down to the H4, um, well, let's drop down to the H1, okay? And I was, I was aggressive with this trade because you can see that there is this nice level through here, all right? And price has been obeying this level, yeah? And it was no difference yesterday, all right? So you could have waited, yeah, for this candle to form yeah this would have been a more conservative entry yeah we get our bearish reaction at our gray zone as we planned yeah we enter here we put our stop above here you know and you would have got your one is to one roughly down here you know closed 80 percent leave some um profit to run okay but what i did guys because i just like this area so much this gray zone and if it breaks this area I'm not interested. I'm wrong. So all I did, guys, was get in, you know, as it approached this gray zone. All right. So I got in roughly here, put my stop here. Okay. And then I took price back down to here. These last lows took 80%. Yeah. And I'm still in this trade for 20%. And we're looking to leave it to run down to here, perhaps even further, guys. All right. So New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, nice trade. OK, um, I also took another trade from yesterday. We were looking at the yen pairs, if you remember, and I took euro yen. OK, and this was, you know, not a successful trade. The yen, the yen went from strong to weak in one day, pretty much. All right. So euro yen, if we start with the day chart, we were looking to sell this. Um, why were we looking to sell it? Let me explain. So we just follow market structure, you know, at this point. We're in an uptrend. We're getting higher highs, higher lows. We're in an uptrend. We don't make higher highs, always a red flag. And then price broke down. Yeah, you can see this candle specifically Yeah, broke this low and these lows in here. So we have lower lows. We're in a downtrend. And we are still in a downtrend. Nothing's changed here. Um, and the idea was to come from this gray zone back down to these lows. All right. Okay. Um, again, logical. Didn't work out, but logical, right? Um, if we drop down to the H4, um, what will we look in? So, what well, is more of a H1, really, guys, all right? So, again, we had this nice gray zone through here, yeah, where price had reacted previously, yeah, and we got another reaction here, okay? If I zoom back in now, you can see at this level, we got a nice bearish well couple of candles this one and this candle all right so i entered here all right put my stop above here or my hedge whatever you use and the idea was to come back down to these lows all right but as you can see guys this trade didn't work out price come up took out our hedge or stop loss you know and it's looking like there's lots of you know bullish momentum at the moment all right so euro yen was an unsuccessful trade guys you will have them. Yeah, you know, 
don't you know don't beat yourself up about a bad trade as long as you follow your money management yeah i've talked about this in my mentorship program you know every trader in the world will have bad trades but as long as you keep tight control of your money management everything's fine yeah it's no problem you'll have a losing trade no problem get back in the saddle there'll always be a winning trade around the corner um so euro yen yeah uh not a good trade we also looked at a couple of other yen pairs, all right? So Aussie dollar yen, yeah, this was another one we were looking at. Obviously, I didn't trade these because I was already in a yen pair. But Aussie dollar yen, I still think this is a good short trade today. Again, we were in an uptrend, and then bang, we broke. Yeah, we got this candle that broke to the downside, and the idea was to come back down to here. Um, and again, we had this bullish wick here. Yesterday's candle is is bullish, but we still got this wick at the top. All right, so this could still be potentially a good trade for today. Um, this this didn't really give us as good a setups, guys. To be quite honest, because the problem with this one was it was just H one structure was building up, and although we got some you know bearish candles in here, which you could have entered on. Uh, you're just entering into this area here, which I don't want to do. This is a good area to buy, and which it proved to be. So Aussie dollar yen didn't give us as good a setup as euro yen. Um, so we didn't trade that one. And also, what was the last one? New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. This did give us a nice setup, actually, this one. Um, again, day chart, similar scenario. You know, we were in an uptrend. And then price broke down, breaking these lows in here. Yeah, so we're in a downtrend. We're still in a downtrend. But look, we just had a very bullish day with New Zealand yen. Okay. Um, if we drop down to the H4, yeah, I mean, there was this, this candle here, this nice big bearish H4 candle. You know, that is a nice setup. Yeah. Bearish candle, take price back down to these lows, if not further. But again, you know, as I said, the yen weakness come into the market, and this would have took out any stops that you had in here. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys. Those was yesterday's trade. So a bit of a mixed bag, one winner, one loser. Um, let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoyed the recap and you enjoy my analysis every single day, then please come join the channel. We would love to have you. Yeah, so subscribe to the channel right now. Um, also, smash that notification button so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. Um, and if you could also smash the like button, guys, it really helps support the channel. Um, merci beaucoup. Dankeschön. Shukran. Um, okay, guys, so trades for Thursday, the 4th of January. Uh, before we get started, let me just tell you a few things about the channel. So first of all, if you haven't joined our community of traders, then please do so. We have a free Discord channel. Come join it. Um, also, guys, we have the VIP Discord channel. Okay, you do have to pay for this, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you uh, can ask me questions about anything to do with trading. I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. And also, you have access to the Trading Academy, which is full of train, uh, trading tutorials. All right, it'll really improve your trading. Um, also, guys, we have the mentorship program where I coach you one on one. If you're interested in that, drop us an email and we'll send you the details. And finally, guys, if you would like to show your support, then you can become a Simply Forex YouTube member. We've got supporter and gold membership, and there are loads of perks. All the information for all of these things are in the video description. Right. Um, so, trades for. Thursday, the 4th of Jan. So we're going to start today with the dollar index. Obviously, this isn't a trade idea because I want to show you this because I'm seeing a few um, dollar major pairs set up, but they're not quite set ups yet. Um, so, yeah, you know, the dollar, the dollar index is between a bit of a rock and a hard place at the moment. So you can see this weekly level through here. Yeah. And price is bouncing nicely off this level. Yeah, we're seeing dollar strength. Okay. If we now drop down to the day chart, you can see we are at a very nice daily level for selling. Yeah. Not only is that resistance, but we've got the moving average 20 as well. So we've got these weekly buyers 
And it'll be interesting to see if we get these daily sellers. Yeah, maybe price does this for a little bit with the dollar index. Yeah, we shall see. But at the moment, you know, like I say, it's between a rock and a hard place. You've got these daily sellers and these weekly buyers. Okay, so that's the dollar index at the moment. It'll be really interesting to see if this level holds. If this breaks, yeah, I think, you know, the dollar will gain some real strength, at least back up to here. So it really depends on this level. And then if we reflect on this dollar index and look at, you know, a, U a US dollar pair, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, it's an exactly the same situation, yeah, but reversed. Yeah, we've got weekly level, yeah, where we have weekly sellers, yeah, and you can see price coming down, yeah, but it's also on the day chart, well, and the weekly chart, this is good support, um, but on the day chart, you know, this is at a beautiful level to buy. Yeah, it really is. You know, and we've got a potential for this. Yeah, but the problem is it's coming off a weekly level. So who's going to win this battle? Will the daily buyers win? Yeah, or the weekly sellers win? And it really depends on this level in here. So today I'm expecting, you know, a bounce off this level, especially because of this, you know, we're getting a bit of a wick. So New Zealand US dollar could be a trade idea for today. But I don't like the fact that it's bouncing off of this weekly level. Um, and it's the same for a few of them. So Aussie dollar, US dollar is the same, obviously highly correlated. But this is the same situation. Weekly level, yeah, bouncing off, okay? Yeah, go to the day chart daily level it's not quite as nice as new zealand us dollar because it's not down to this level but it is bouncing off the moving average 20 you know could daily buyers win or weekly sellers win we shall see it all depends about this level again um and there's more examples of this where was another one yeah us dollar canadian dollar gold as well is another one yeah but we got this this hasn't quite hit that weekly level down here, but we're getting lots of buying pressure. Yeah, this is the day chart, and it's at this nice level here. You know, will the uh, CAD become strong and the dollar become weak? So I'm keeping my eyes on these today, guys, these dollar pairs, and, you know, they could be potential trades, but I don't like the fact that they're coming off of weekly levels, okay? Um, so we're keeping an eye on them. They're not necessarily trade ideas for today. They could be, but we're keeping an eye on them. But my first trade idea for today is this. Aussie dollar against the Japanese yen. I know we were looking at yen pairs yesterday, and they didn't quite work out. But, you know, this is still at a very nice level. So out of all of the yen pairs, I prefer Aussie dollar yen. And, you know... Again, if we just follow structure on the day chart, yeah, we was in an uptrend and then bang, yeah. As soon as we broke these lows here, even this wick here, yeah, with this candle, we're in a downtrend, okay? So we're in a downtrend. There's no ifs and buts. We're in a downtrend. Um, and also, guys, what are we looking at? I, I know this is quite a bullish, bullish-ish candle. That's definitely a word. Check it out in the English dictionary, bullish-ish-ish. Yeah, but there is a bit of a top wick here, all right? So I still like the market structure. I know this is a bit of a bullish candle, but I, I need to see a breakdown on the lower time frames, okay? But I'm looking to sell this still back down to here. Um, if we look at the H4 now, yeah, and this is also not filling us with, you know, it is not telling us to sell yet because this really is in a H4 uptrend. Okay, if we look at the H1, you know, there's a there's a level through here, right? If, if price, if Aussie dollar yen, again, we're in a H1 uptrend. And if Aussie dollar yen, you know, breaks these highs, carries on up, you know, not interested. Yeah, but if, you know, you can see this channel here on the H1, this trend line, if price holds here and then starts to, you know, eventually do this, potentially breaking this low, breaking out of this trend line, then I'm interested in selling Aussie dollar Japanese yen. All right. So I need certain things to happen here. Uh, and if they don't, I won't trade it. But if they do, we have a trade. 
All right, so Aussie dollar yen. Um, the next trade we're looking at is we're actually looking at an indice, guys. We're looking at the NAS. Also, not only is it an indice, he's also an excellent gangster rapper. Check it out. NAS, get down. What an album. Check it out. So not only do we give trading advice on this channel, we give musical advice. Also, take up the trumpet. Don't know what I'm saying this morning. Um, right, Naz, what are we talking about here? So weekly chart, yeah? This is a weekly level. Weekly level, weekly level. And you can see sellers are entering the market quite aggressively, okay? We are in an uptrend. You know, there's, there's no two ways about that on the weekly chart, but we're at a weekly level. If we go down to the day chart now. I spoke about this with Hash on the VIP Discord and in the live stream. And, you know, this break of this low here, yeah, we wasn't too sure yesterday, but now we've broken this low with this candle here. This is a change in structure. Oh, draw that line again. I've been drinking. Yeah, that is a clear break in structure. We have broken these last lows. All right. And all we're looking for is a retrace to take it back down to here. And my target is this blue line. Why is it my target? Because it's the first type, first area where we can expect buyers to enter. You know, from this last high here. Simple as that. Um, if we drop down to the H4, it is the problem here is it's very oversold. If I brought up the RSI indicator, you know, it would be close, if not touching the 30 level. All right. So, you know, price is tumbling down. Yeah, it really is. And even these candles are bearish. They're all breaking the low of the previous candle. So price could quite easily just do this. Yeah. And drop down. If it does, I won't have a trade. What I need to see is a retrace into here somewhere. Yeah. We've got this level here, you know, and this level in here. Yeah, perhaps the moving average 20 comes down, catches up with it. I'd be interested in this level. We get a bearish reaction, and then we can come lower. All right, might not happen. Therefore, I won't have a trade. No problem. Trades are like buses. There will always be one soon. Um, What else are we looking at? Yeah, there's a few trades today, guys. Another trade I'm looking at is Euro Aussie Dollar. Yeah, perhaps, you know, we got into this trade a little bit early at the start of the week. But, you know, not much has changed in terms of this trade, really. Yeah, Euro Aussie dollar is still firmly in a downtrend. Actually, let's start with the weekly chart here. Because if you look at this weekly chart, yeah, we have broken this level in here with this candle here. Yeah, so weekly is firmly in a downtrend. All right, so we like this. Daily again, is firmly in a downtrend. Yeah, don't need to be Warren Buffett. Yeah, it's in a downtrend. And if we zoom into these candles, guys, you can see, you know, we obviously had these huge wicks previously, but now we've got this wick from yesterday that's bouncing off of this moving average 20. And the idea is not to go crazy. We're just trying to take it back down to that last area of support in here. Yeah, this blue line. Okay. Um, if we drop down to the H4, again, the problem with the trades today is, is what I am looking for to happen may take some time. This could even be a trade set up for tomorrow, but so be it. Yeah. Um, uh, this is more of a H1. Yeah. So again, I, I've been putting a few of these channels in because price has been obeying these trend lines. Yeah. And now you can see price has got to this level. And it doesn't know what to do with itself. All right. So what am I looking for? So if price comes back up to these last highs, yeah, and we get a bearish reaction, I'll be looking to sell this. Okay. The problem with any other idea is normally I would say, look, if we get a break of H1 structure, but the problem is this low we need to take into consideration, this outlying wick. And if I wait for a break of that low, yeah, my target's here. Yeah, it doesn't quite make sense. So realistically, my only trade idea here 
is for price to come back up to here we get a bearish reaction and we come lower um so that's euro aussie dollar and there's more guys there's another trade we're looking at and before i show you the last trade idea guys if i could ask everyone if you're enjoying the analysis to please uh smash the subscribe button and also smash the like button guys also don't forget uh we got the uh free discord trading community we also have the vip discord we've got the mentorship program and we've got the simply forex youtube um membership as well where you can show your support um right last trade is new zealand dollar canadian dollar i know you're shouting deja vu and you would be right but this is still a trade idea yeah again new zealand dollar canadian dollar we're in this range here and if we look more closely within this range we are in a mini downtrend because we broke these lows yeah this candle here, this very bearish candle, broke these lows. And again, if we zoom in, you know, this wick is telling us sellers are in control. They want to keep pushing it lower. So that's what we're going to do. You know, we're going to still continue to push New Zealand CAD back down to these lows. If we drop down to the H4 now, um, yeah, I mean, the levels haven't changed. I would probably do this with this level, change the grey zone a little bit to there. So we've got a couple of ideas here. So first of all, if price retraces back up into this grey zone, test these last highs again, get a bearish reaction, we could start selling. Um, let's have a look at the H1, see if we've got any other options here. You know, or a H1 structure break. You can see h1 is doing this let's say it does this and then we get a break if we get a break of these lows again we could start selling here all right but new zealand dollar canadian dollar we're looking to sell so they're the trade ideas for today guys let's take a look at the news now So news for thursday the 4th of january guys as you can see it is a bloody busy news day um we had some news overnight some pmi data coming out of china that was a lot better than expected, really. So this could have a positive impact on the Aussie dollar. Uh, and then the news we're interested in is just a lot of PMI in the morning. So at 8.55 coming out of Germany, 9 o'clock for the euro and 9.30 for the pound. We've just got PMI, 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 PMI. So lots of PMI data, which is basically inflation for businesses, really. So this is all important data coming out for euro and the pound. Um, if we scroll down, guys, we've got, you know, more big data coming out as well. So one o'clock, London GMT, we've got CPI coming out of Germany month on month, year on year. Again, very important. Um, and there's more, guys. Like I said, busy news day. 1.15, we've got ADP non-farm employment. Um, again, very important. 15 minutes later, we've got continuing jobless claims and initial jobless claims. So big employment data here as well. Um, and after that, there's still more. We've got uh, 2.45, we've got composite and services PMI. And if that wasn't enough, at four o'clock, we've got crude oil inventories. And, you know, it says US dollar here, but this obviously impacts oil. Yeah, goes without saying. Also the Canadian dollar guys, because they're a big exporter of oil and the US so there you go, guys. That's the news for today. Um, don't forget to join me for the live stream later today, uh, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Uh, join us for the live stream. Get all your questions over to me, guys. Um, I would love to answer them. Um, have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you later.